Hello everyone, Angry Poncho here. I am freaking out. This is way too loud. Oh, I can't hear. I can't hear what I'm doing. There we go. Turn it down. Make it quiet. I'm trying to figure out what I can... If there's, is there not like a... A full over sound option? I can't just turn... Sample volume. What the hell does that mean? I don't know what that is. Alright. That's good. I'll make sure that it balances in the recording. Whatever. So, hey everyone, Angry Poncho here, and we are playing Black and White 2. This is my first LP on my new PC. Let's try saying that ten times fast. But this is a pretty awesome game. I really like it. As you might guess from this opening screen, it gives you some good choices between good and evil. So, uh... Yeah, this is sort of like a celebration for me of my new my new desktop. It's a great, great PC. It's got a processor fast enough to make HD videos, and I'm maybe rendering like cr like a mofo. Like, you won't even know it. Alright. Let's start a new game. Oh man, I just realized I didn't say it. What's up, my pilots? So we're playing Black and White 2. This is a game that I... This is the beginning. The birth of a god. By one pure prayer. You know I'm dancing right now. Woo. Born out of desperation. Shakira, Shakira. To be a god. To wield the power of good and evil. That is your destiny. Mostly just evil, but I get the idea. Oh, lady, when you dance like that. We need a god. <laughs> Hey, I hear you. I'm out in space, but I can hear you. Help. Help us, please. Who are- what? Okay. I'll help you. Do I need cheat codes? I can give you the Contra code. 30 more- 30 more lives. You'll be okay. Okay. Apparently that celestial fist is now plummeting through the atmosphere. I'm not sure how that works, but alright, cool. <laughs> works for me. Whoa! Look at that! Look at all those peas. We're your conscience. We're part of you. Our role is to help you be the god you want to be. So, we'll guide you as you make your godly way through whatever this world throws at you. But before then, you'll want to learn the basics. We'll help you with all that, but even more importantly, you'll need a creature. Hey, let's go and choose one. Hey, you're really close to the screen right now. This is exciting. We get a creature. The heck is this? There they are. Wonderful, aren't they? You have four to choose from, but the one you choose will be with you throughout your whole time in this world. So consider carefully and make your choice wisely. Let us tell you about these amazing beasts. I mean, I can tell what they are. All creatures can be trained to become lovable, mischievous pets. Uh, no. Or they can be the ultimate disciplined weapons of destruction. Oh, hell yeah. You know it. <laughs> Any creature you choose can become these things. That's the wonder of a god's creature. It can become whatever you wish. All creatures will grow up to be huge and powerful. They can be cute, quirky pets, inquisitive, and fun-loving. Or they can be single-minded war machines. Dang. The monkey looks pretty intense. All creatures will be as good or evil as you teach them to be. Look at how good he looks. Oh, the flowers around him are blooming. It's like the lion of pride, you know, like Simba. Yeah, right. I'd rather they spread love in the form of a massacre or two by going into battle. What a mangy. Creatures can live for war, domination, and destruction. Check out the ground, all the cracks appearing. Yeah, such a shame if you ask me. Pigs. 
No, he's a cow, but still. <laughs> Whichever creature you choose will change according to what he learns and does. They all have their own lives, but you need to be a responsible parent and not overfeed them. I think that one's an overfed. So, <laughs> serious belly. Now it's time to choose. Click on a creature with the action button to highlight him. So when you look at these four, damn, you guys are loud as hell. Is there no way I can like fix this? Like really? I know I'm kind of bugging around here, but damn, it's really, really loud. And like, look at I me. Mean, see, it's really low. I'm, I'm gonna have to like fix it later. I don't know. It's hmm. Right, whatever. Let's just deal with it. So you gotta pick one of these four, and basically they're all gonna. gonna go for the lion. Oh, I know it. All right, shut up. I'm making commentary here. But basically, you can go for any of the four, and they're all going to be pretty equal in terms of what their potential is. Look at that, look at how excited they get when you mouse over them. <laughs> Our god is thinking about the cow. Hey. And it could be the right choice. It could be. It could be the right choice. Over here we have the monkey. I think we'll give the okay, egg. shut up. Yeah, shut up. Definitely. Seriously, I'm getting the lion. Just to if shut you up. Sure. Oh, great choice, boss. <laughs> I feel like I should talk really loud to hear my own voice over these guys. <laughs> Alright, there's Steve, get out of the frame. Lion's coming with us. The lion's pretty a, well, a versatile creature, so you can make him do pretty much whatever you like, which is it is good. He's also very suited to war, which is so the primary usage of the creature. A long time. Do you need the refresher about how to move like a god? Um Use the action button on this scroll to find out how to move and look around. I'm touching the ground, I'm touching the ground. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Grab it. Feel that grass. Feel the grass between your fingertips. Touch the lion. Touch his face. Poke him in the eyes. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, it's like I'm, oh, look, I'm petting his face now. Okay. The hand is your tool for manipulating the world. Tutorials. The movement button pans your view around the world like this. Dang. That seems really inefficient. To move left, hold down the movement button, then great work. <laughs> now we must move to our right. It's a little bit fast for you there. Move right, hold down the movement button, then drag the mouse to the left. Did you hear the sound that that guy just made? He made it sound like a cat. He went Row! Wonderful. Just follow the arrows. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's keep going. Click and hold the ground. Then move the mouse back to pull yourself forwards. Follow the arrows to get back to your creature. Now the cool thing with this is that you don't have to start right in front of you. You can reach out to wherever you want to go and pull it towards and you. And whilst keeping the movement button, the creature is moving behind us. We must pan backwards to find him. And this is kind of the opposite. You click near the screen and push it farther away like this. Well done. It's pretty basic, I mean, but... This gives you the idea of how this game controls. I generally don't move around like that. I use the arrow keys, so <laughs> it works a lot better that way. Now we shall learn to rotate your view. This is actually really handy. Hold the middle mouse button down, then drag from side to side to rotate your view. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use my other mouse from now on. This is my new mouse that came with my PC, now, and I don't like it as much as I like my other one. Down. Hmm. It's time to learn to pitch your view up and down. Oh my lord. Move I should have skipped this. I really should have skipped this. Drag the mouse backwards. Now the thing is for this game... Click and hold the middle mouse Shut up! Button in the high Where's my right mouse? Area. I don't even have a hand right now. Where's my hand? There. Thank you. Let's go up here. This is going very well. <laughs> now I suggest we try pitching down. I promise. The These guys shut up eventually. In the highlighted area and hold it down. Throughout these first couple of worlds, they're going to be like bugging us, now, like a navvy. But later on, they're actually going to leave us alone down, most of the time, so the no big deal. Forward. They're not as annoying as navvy was. There is one last thing, leader. Learning to zoom in and out. This is like the easiest now, thing. Try and zoom away. Why did they do this the last? Roll the mouse wheel backwards to zoom out. <laughs> now try zooming towards the creature. All right, let's go over here. It wouldn't even let me go the wrong way. You showed remarkable skill, leader. Way to go, boss. Sorry I couldn't help, but you know, places to be. All the he knows how it is. You've just learned can Look at him picking his nipples. Ugh. The world. That's gross, dude. Cool. Ah, uh, the gold scroll. Oh. This is a gold scroll. 
These lead you through the story. Yep, take you to the next world, basically, the next island, the next land. Silver scrolls lead the quests in the world, and generally result in you getting tribute, which is just like money, it allows you to buy better powers and better buildings. Bronze scrolls are tutorials, which can teach you so much, and generally give Double very little the tribute. Double-click movement button on the ground there to zoom to it quickly. Double-clicking on the thing, yeah, that'll work, but you can also just zoom in with the I wheel. I see a bronze tutorial scroll here, boss. Yeah, I see it too. I'm not blind. Look at the huge freaking thing it shoots out into the sky. Alright, wow, you really can zoom out with this game, can't you? Huh, look at this, the like, whole freaking island. Look around, like, there's nothing out there. Like, there's no other islands. This is the only piece of land. This is like freaking Manan. So basically what I would do if I'm trying to go for long distances, I'm not gonna be dragging around like this crap, trying to like move around like that. If I wanted to go from like over here to over there, I would like start here, I would just zoom out, put my mouse where I want to go, and then zoom in to wherever I want to be. It's fairly easy, so well, let's get some tribute. Move the hand over the rock and hold down the action button to pick it up. This Once is you've got hold of it, release the button. Yep. So let's move all these rocks out of the circle. This is like baby's first rock throwing oh, minigame. Get out of here! You picked up the rock <laughs> like an expert. Oh, now, I sure freak did. And click the Get the hell out of here. Drop it on the ground. Just chuck it towards the camera. Oh, I say, Woo! You threw that a thousand gold! Well which is the smallest Reminds amount you possibly can be rewarded. So, days. Your what days? Okay. Look, you have received one thousand tribute. And you thoroughly deserve it. I sure as hell do. Oh, the tutorials! Another bronze scroll. So much to learn and so little. You know, villagers are wonderfully versatile. They are. They can do so much in the world. You can simply pick up a villager and put him or her next to something. The villager will take this as divine inspiration. I know, right? And become a disciple. Let's have a go at this, boys. Pick up this guy here. And drop him over the highlighted area. Yep, this is basically how you give people their jobs. Put them near what you want them to do. Now drop him by a highlighted area. So now he's and a forester. This guy is chopping trees for wood. Disciple farmer. Farmer, of course. This person is safely working <laughs> at the farm. And builders. That makes sense, right? Make a city better. See, we got a builder. And the best ones, breeders. This is their job to make lots and lots of babies and raise them to worship me. Kind of like in real life. Don't look, leader. The breeders are doing. Oh well. lord! It is such Kinky. Do. Look at the guy's mustache. Where are we? Egypt? I mean, his beard. Look at that thing. That's crazy. It's crazy. He's got eyeliner on too. Oh, they're going inside. You know what's happening now. You got all that, boss? Yeah, of course you did. And to prove it, there's a thousand tribute you know waiting it. for all you. Alright, what's next? Now, why not explore the land? Oh, there's something Click else. Click on the Let's silver see. scrolls. When you see them, click on the gold scroll on the big mountain to leave. Your creature has a pen over here. This is where he sleeps. Helps him grow better if he sleeps in the pen. Basically, it's like a nurturing environment. Two more scrolls? Oh, this is... Okay, I know what this one is. Get some money. Ooh, exposition. Look at these peaceful people. How lovely. Egyptians on a desert island. Who would have guessed? Look at this guy. Looks like the freaking Prince of Persia. Look at those abs. Help Damn. Their friends by moving them so they can be together in the main valley. <laughs> what, the, what, the, what are they doing over there in the first place? Isn't that the sweet? whole quest consists of you picking these people, people up and moving them over. Way to go! You're holding a nomad. Great. I'm holding a nomad. nomad oh, so tightly. Near to my heart. Good. Dear to my heart. Good. That's all of them. Right. They're here. That's right. Look at how happy they are. They're dancing. They're dancing better than in Kotor. Jeez. Remarkable work. You rescued everyone. Look, you received 1,000 trillion. That ain't much, dude. Are they kissing? Those two guys are kissing. Gay Egyptians. Okay. Alright, what's next? Let's go to this one over here. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> if there is a god up there, and you can hear me, please help me out. I'm in dire need. Who's playing those my freaking wind chimes? Ruins. A rock has rolled onto my lovely garden. Oh, no. I've been trying to move it. But it's too big and heavy. If ever a man needs a god, 
I'm him. Please hear my prayer. You're lucky I don't drop that crap on your tiny little head. Who's he to ask us to wow. move a rock for him? Nah, fiddling it is more fun. Yeah, now he's happy. Praise be! The rock is gone! My garden is rockless! Dang, he's nimble. Marvelous! You moved the rock! Huh? The man is happy, and all is well. You know it. Oh, is this how it's gonna be, boss? Don't worry. When in the hearts of this world's people... <laughs> oh, get there, you hairy crotch you bastard. You just received tribute. Lovely. 5,000 for that one. Why was that one worth so much more? All I did was move a rock. This next one's a lot harder, and I don't think you get very much for it. Last one, I think. Oh no! The waterfall is blocked! Oh no! How will the water get from up there to what in the ocean? What do we do now? This is awful! Don't worry. We'll think of something. Really though, like, the water's flowing down the mountain and into the Throwing ocean. objects can prove very useful in both defense and attack. To throw an object, first pick it up. Then, whilst keeping the action button held, move the mouse in the direction you want to throw. Release the button when you want to let go of the object and send it flying. That isn't actually true. That's not at all how throwing things works. You click on them to pick them up. And then you slide. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not holding the mouse button right now. I'm sort of, like, default in the holding the rock state. This is actually kind of hard, because... Basically, you need to move forward and click. But when you click and how fast you're moving both affect how the rock moves. So obviously, the faster you move your hand forward like this, the faster it's you're going to throw it. And if you let go early, you can toss the rock like a short toss like that. Or if you let if you let go later on, you'll throw it farther out like that. See? Tough luck. But the trick is to get the balance right so you can actually hit things. Oh, come on, hit that. Oh, it rolled down onto it. Come on. Whoop. It's really hard. And it takes a lot of practice to have any skill at all at this. Thankfully, they just give you a crap load of rocks, and you just, like, can chuck them until you hit the dang thing. Too bad. Just try and zero in on it if you can. Oh, come on, I'm getting closer, aren't I? Ugh, this is really hard. This, this gave me a lot of trouble the first time I played the game. I could not figure out Tough how to do luck. it. Worse yet, I was still trying to listen to their instructions, and I was holding the mouse button down, which just simply does not work. Alright, now let's try this a little bit better. If I get a vertical view, I might be able to actually hit the dang things. So now I can line it up a little better. What? Oh, that's probably way too far. Yeah. Yeah, rock on! Oh, don't. Oh, please. Don't say that anymore. Don't ever say that again. Too bad. Alright, let's toss them a little farther back here. Oh, uh, too far. I think I'm. Yeah, I'm just overthrowing it now. Tough luck. Alright, let's get a little bit of a different angle. Oh, that's a good one. That's gonna hit it. Oh, come on! That's BS. I totally hit it. Yeah, rock on! I'm feeling it now. I'm zeroing in on it. There we go. That was close. <sighs> this is really hard. Like, I know this is boring to watch, but damn. Too bad. This is tough to do. <sighs> nope. I think the big rocks, you're more likely to actually hit something with them. Tough luck. They're easier to throw, too, because they don't... <laughs> they tend not to just go flying like that. Oh, come on, that's perfect! Yeah, rock on. Oh, come on, that totally hit those! What I don't get is why I can pick these rocks up, but I can't just go over there and grab those and move them. Ah! Oh, there you go, bullseye. Just freaking bullseye. Well done, leader. The blockage has been cleared. We can finally poop! The land is complete, leader. Five thousand. Click the gold scroll on top of the mountain to progress. All right, will do. And I think we're actually gonna do that in the next video because I need to fix the freaking sound settings. This is way too loud. So I'm gonna save my game, and we'll proceed in the next video. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna try to make this game in like twenty-minute pieces, and this is gonna be the least edited, or one of the least edited pieces. But basically. Well, in the beginning, I'll be showing a lot, so it's sort of at uh, the beginning. I had to kind of show things and explain things, but as time passes and the game becomes a little bit more uh, understood, I'll explain like some basic premises for each land, and then I'll I'll do some things off screen and some things on screen. Anything important or interesting, I'll show. Anything that's sort of just like letting time pass, waiting for people to build things, you know, 
waiting for things to move around on the map, you know, letting resources build up. That'll be off screen and you won't have to watch it. And I promise the tutorials won't last too much longer. The first world we go to is sort of like a warm up world. You, you can actually, I guess you could lose if you were really, really, really bad, but I don't think you ever actually get attacked. But yeah, anyway, so in the next video we're going to head to the sort of the warm-up world. It's not as dumb as this one. We actually do get to build a city and make an armory if we want and just generally start to actually be a god. Wait a minute. Did I ever, like, explain the premise of this game? I don't know. Some of you guys are probably watching this like, what the hell is he doing? It's like a little floating hand that likes to do good deeds. No, this, this game is sort of like Age of Empires uh, or, like, not like quite like StarCraft because it's sort of like a campaign-based game. But basically the idea is that, look at the view, let's zoom out for a nice view while we're talking. Basically the idea is that you build a city, and you either, you have to beat everybody else out, essentially. You either build a city that's powerful enough to make an army, and you go out and conquer the rest of the land, or you build a city that's so huge, and impressive, and glorious, and cultured, that the rest of the people just drop their tools where they stand and migrate to your town. Which is generally how I generally how I win for the first few worlds, and I do warrior later on. So, looking forward to showing this game off to you guys and enjoying this uh, wonderful new PC with you. So, I'm gonna fix those sound settings and come back, and we will click on the gold scroll to go to the first land. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.